Right, it is the next morning. Um, I got home last night and did not feel like unloading this because it was about 11 o'clock. Uh, it was a good seven hour drive down there and back. Uh, but I went down to Reedy Fork and got some of the soy free organic feed for the chickies. And uh, it was just kind of a long day of driving, but um, where I am, there's just not a lot of good, um, good feed, you know? Um, the, you can get new country organic, but by the time you get a whole uh, tote and pay tax and everything, it was just under $1,500. So it was cheaper for me to drive down to North Carolina. It cost me, I think, 80 bucks in fuel and uh, 900 something bucks for the tote. And then I got some minerals and stuff like that for them too. So um, it was just kind of super chill day for me. Uh, Sarah, on the other hand, had a rough day because she had to take care of the farm and we had five of the new baby chicks uh, where she found them dead in the morning. So uh, that was pretty rough. Um, so we kind of reached out to uh, some of our group and uh, or the groups that we're in and they uh, they recommended calling the hatchery so um i guess it's kind of been common a little more lately we had uh we had two uh dead on arrival and then we had five pass away so that means our total loss right now is seven which we're trying to keep it under 10 percent so ugh, you know uh they're not even a week old so this is the first time we've even had a death knock on wood but um man it's uh it sucks you know but on the plus side we got uh the chickens the best feed we can get them um soy free organic non-gmo and we got them uh some kelp and some minerals and uh some grit so they should be ready to rock and roll <laughs> string trim whatever you want to call it and get some of the fields cut but first I have to run some errands and go pick up some milk because we own a couple shares of a cow so we can get some raw milk so that's pretty cool um, so I gotta do that and then my day probably won't really get started until this afternoon so I uh, already fed the chickens uh, the, the egg layers and then um, these guys, the little sea monsters, I'll show them here, show you them here in a second. Um, man, they just, they've got a 24 seven buffet and uh, all you can eat and we're just gonna rock it and see how it goes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, yeah, no, that was not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. What about this one? This one might be a little more exciting. Got a little bound up. Let's see, this, this is the one, I think, that kept falling off. One of them, I had to stop a couple hundred miles and reattach it. Nah, nah, meh, meh, meh. Lame. Sometimes it's just to get a good pop, you know, like like bubble wrap, you know? Bubble wrap is fun. Everybody, I think everybody loves popping bubble wrap. If, if they don't, uh, it's, it's 
kind of weird if you don't like popping bubble wrap, I guess. So, I like popping bubble wrap. Everyone I know likes popping bubble wrap, but maybe I'm the weird one. Probably that. All right, so if you're wondering, yes, I wrapped this. I put the tarp on top and wrapped it with um, like industrial saran wrap. You can get it at Walmart, Target, uh, Office Max, whatever. Um, probably Amazon for sure. Um, it's just what they wrap skids with. Um, I bought it for an engine uh, that I put in storage. But um, if, on a side note, if you have these straps, you want to try to un unwind them a little bit and then uh, wrap them like so. Let's see if I can do this one handed, kind of like that. And then what I do is I flop this over and then I just start rolling it. Oh, it's not gonna work, is it? I start rolling it like this around the strap. And then that way you've got a nice little bundle when it's all wrapped up. All right, and then you end up with something kind of like this, nice compact package. And then I just shove this in the door pocket uh, up front in the cab and just kind of leave a few of them in the truck because... Uh, so I just leave that in the cab of the truck because you never really know when you're gonna need straps. Um, man. I'd say at least a hundred times I've been somewhere and been like, oh man, I need to strap something down or I have to pick something up from the big box store and ended up being like, oh, I need some straps. So I just leave a few in the truck and uh, maybe put a little napkins around them, but uh, just keep them from rattling. And uh, yeah, I mean, pretty nice. All right, I got seven little holes for <clears throat> Seven little holes for the seven little chickens that didn't make it. So we're gonna plant them in the garden and that way they can um, live on by helping everything grow in the garden and uh, just kind of honor them the best we can.